here at OSU, right plant, right place. That's for everyone at your house too, because it, it, it really matters. So that's the first thing is we're trying to think about the aspect of where the plant's being planted. What does the sunlight look like? What does the soil look like? What kind of irrigation or no irrigation do we have? And then once we've got that kind of figured out, then what's that plant gonna do? And what's that plant gonna do in relationship to what it's planted next to? Hundreds of plants get added each year. We have so many great nurseries here because we are the nursery capital at some people believe of the world, which I agree with. We love working with horticulture. We're super lucky here on campus to be part of a college that has such a cool, established, well-flowing, horticulture department. A lot of times we, we're able to get plants from horticulture, like when they're done uh, doing research on them in the fields, there's often lots of plants that are left over and they're available. And what's awesome is that horticulture will send us an email and say, hey, we've got some lilacs, we've got some hornbeams, we've got some whatever, and they're right across the river down there, you guys can pick them up. We have to think of things in a much longer timeline. A lot of the stuff here at, on campus, all higher ed is in these like four year increments and. I think we're the one group that thinks in like a hundred year increment. Uh, that's what they did before. That's why we have so many beautiful plants and trees on this campus is that this is what they did before. Because there's a lot of things we can do now in a sort of a lazier, not so forward thinking way, but it's gonna get our counterparts 40 or 50 years from now. And, and that is how we think when we're making our decisions, we're thinking about what is this gonna be like 50 years from now or a hundred years from now.